Good evening, everyone. This is Tina again. Welcome back to your HLT course. We are on module four. We are more than halfway home. Um, I'm going to show you again how to get to your resources and teach you how to do the ANOVA SPSS exercise. So within the classroom, you should have seen in the QTI that I posted a assignments and grading um, post for module four that will direct you to the Google Drive folder again. So if I go to my Google Drive folder and I click on module four, you have in there um, the assignments and grading post, exercise 18, which is worth 80 points, and exercise 33, which is worth 90 points. You also have the introduction, which I posted for module four in the announcements. So I'm going to click the assignments and grading document, download that, and open it with Word. Um, so module four is analysis of variance, which is ANOVA. You can see I have the learning objectives listed here. As usual, you have two discussion questions due this week. One is due by Wednesday, the other is due by Friday. Your participation, as always, is six responses, which um, need to be at least two and at least three different days, and they have to meet the requirements posted in the announcements. Your two assignments are listed right here. Questions to be graded, exercise 18, which uses the study and review in the workbook, and exercise 33, which uses SPSS to perform the calculations. Um, if at any time you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post in the individual forum. I am always more than happy to help. So I'm going to get right to this SPSS problem for exercise 33. Um, you want to open up your Citrix receiver and um, go to your SPSS program. I already did that and I already pulled in my data set 2 for exercise 33. I do want to go back to the Google Drive folder here and remind you that all of the data sets are in this folder here for you to download onto your computer. So exercise 4 Sorry, module four, when you look for exercise 33, there are two sets of example data. The one that you are going to be graded on is this one for example two. I believe example one is the one that they're doing in the workbook for you to check your answers with. I don't happen to have the workbook yet, um, so I can't see that, but I believe that example two is the one that you want to use to answer all of the questions. So you are just going to download, download that to your computer. That is what I then opened here in SPSS so that I don't have to type those in. It's all set for me. So I am going to, again, do as I always do, which is delete off the bottom two so that I can show you how to work through this without actually giving the answers away to you. Um, I am actually going to go back to my Google Drive folder. and open up this exercise so that I can see the questions that are being asked. So there are a couple questions that you can um, go through the reading to get the answer for homogeneity, homogeneity of variance. Um, you again need the frequency distribution, that's the histogram, and the Shapiro-Wilk test of normality. I'm going to walk you through that again, but that has been on every worksheet that we've done so far. Um, you need the means of the three groups, the F value, and the group and error DF. Um, you also need to answer if it's significant, um, which group worked the most weekly hours. Here we need the LSD post hoc test and the Tukey HSD test. So I am going to walk you through all of those in the same area in our SPSS program. So to get to the analysis of variance or ANOVA, we'll go up to Analyze, Compare Means, and we want the one-way ANOVA. We are going to put our hours worked in the dependent list, 
in our treatment group under factor. And let's click contrasts. Make sure nothing is checked in here. Click options. We want to check descriptive and homogeneity of variance test. Click continue. It also said that we needed the post hoc test for LSD and Tukey. Our significance level is 0 0.05. So we are going to click continue and we are going to click OK. I'm going to go back to my data set. Since I do need my histogram and my Shapiro-Wilkes statistic, I'm going to take care of that right now by going to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore, and I'm going to put both of my variables here in the dependent list. Click Statistics, make sure I'm at a 95% interval, Plots. I want my histogram and I want my normality plots with tests again. Click continue. Click OK. And this is going to give me uh, my data in here for the mean, my normality, uh, so my Shapiro Wilkes statistic, and it's going to give me my histogram. So again, all of that information I just copy over as needed to answer the questions asked. But let's take a look back up here at the top at the ANOVA information that I have. I'm going to go back to the questions and kind of show you where this information can be pulled out into the questions. Um, so for number two, obviously we're copying the histogram and the Shapiro-Wilk test information over again. Um, the means for the three groups, if I go back to my data table here, I can see the means for the three groups. I've got observational, randomized, and supported employment. Here are my means, so I'm going to copy those out. Um, what are the F value in the group and error DF for this data set? So in my table here, I can see the F value is 8.704. I'm going to copy this table over here real quick. So this is saying, what is the F value? So the F value is 8.704. And my DF values are 2 and 10 in this case. So technically, the way that I would write that would be F210 equals 8.704. And that is, shows my F value, my group and error DF. Um, for this calculation. Is the F value significant at 0 0.05? To answer my question, um, yours might be a little different in yours, but my answer is yes. Yes, because the value is 0 0.006, which is less than alpha. That means it's significant. Um, so moving on, these questions then can be answered using the data given at, all throughout the other sheet. Um, here, question 9 asks about the LSD post hoc test versus the Tukey HSD test. So let's take a look where that information is on here. So I've got multiple comparisons, and I have my Tukey HSD and my LSD test, and I would just analyze that information, maybe take a look at the significance value here um, for those to see if there really is a difference in how it was analyzed. So once I answer all of those questions, I will then save this to my computer, make sure your name is in here, save it to your computer, submit it to turn it in, and then submit it for grading. This is worth nine points, so your SPSS calculations will be worth part of that, and your answers will be worth part of that as well. 
As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post those in the individual forum, and I will be happy to answer those usually the same day. Please remember that the data that I used is not the actual data that you will be using because I am taking values out for you. So God bless you. Have a great day. And please be sure to ask any questions that you have. Thank you very much.